cops charged with multi-million dollar fraud. JTT gets burglarized. And quick thinking pup saves owner's life. I am Noriko Bullford, and this is Uncut News. Weeks ago, the government promised that someone was going to go down for the millions of dollars missing from the police force, and now it's happening. Former Assistant Police Commissioner Kevin Adonis and Corporal Roel Haynes were today granted bail on several fraud charges. They have joined Police Sergeant Jermaine Fraser and Michael Corbin, who were in March 2020 granted $250,000 bail by the magistrate on similar fraud charges. The four are accused of stealing over $19 million from the force through falsified payment vouchers. A Guyanese fishing vessel and its crew drifted out sea for two whole days after they were attacked by at least 12 armed Venezuelans along the Guayani River in Region 1. The attack occurred about a week ago, and the crew was eventually rescued by another fishing vessel. Well, good for them. The boat's captain told the newsroom that the Venezuelans locked them in a room in the boat and stole everything that wasn't tied down. And when I say everything, I mean everything. The GPS, fuel, clothes, documents, food, eating utensils. They even stole the captain's boating license and the catch of fish. Wow, that's just disrespectful. They were eventually able to break out of the room after the pirates left. The boat captain said while he is thankful that they are still alive, he is still calling on the government to do something about piracy on the high seas. So now we've got huge drug busts, multiple acts of piracy, and unsolved public executions. Oh my, 2021 is starting to feel a lot like 2014. The Demerara Harbor Bridge has been damaged yet again. This time a boat is not to blame. A piece broken off from the ninth span of the bridge has forced the Ministry of Public Works to restrict heavy-duty vehicles from crossing the bridge. Additionally, the bridge retractions are suspended until the repairs on the bridge are completed. Edgel said overladen vehicles on the application of brakes after speeding are contributory factors to the damage on span 9. So you hear that, people? Quit putting too much weight on your trucks and speeding on the damn bridge. Police are on the hunt for five low lives who stabbed a 16-year-old student five times on Thursday afternoon during a robbery in Arendelle. When the child resisted the attack, the suspect stabbed him with a pair of scissors. They took his laptop, cell phone, music box, and his backpack. He was taken to the Dorsham Public Hospital for emergency surgery. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's car of the day. Currently on sale is his 2018 Suzuki Swift RS Sport Edition. It's come with Bluetooth. CD stereo, steering controls, crystal lights, mag rims, fog lamps, and much, much more. Pay cash for $3.6 million, or pay down as low as $720,000 with around $70,000 monthly, and it is yours. Call the WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info, or visit their showrooms at 171 Peter Rose Street, Queenstown, or Lock 2 Lamar Street, and tell them Noriko sent you for this sweet deal. Speaking of low lives in need of prison, on Thursday morning, one man in the Pomeroon brutally chopped his pregnant wife before burning down their house. The injured 23-year-old woman was chopped during a heated argument between the two. She was chopped about her body, head, and right hand. In fact, doctors were forced to partially amputate the hand because the damage was so bad. Police have since confirmed that the woman was indeed six months pregnant. Seeing the man set fire to the house, neighbors came to the woman's aid and the husband has since been arrested, but it's too bad that he won't be subjected to the same punishment. Today, gt and announced that its comp in Regent Street retail store in Georgetown will be temporarily closed due to a burglary at the location early this morning. gt and public relations manager, Jasmine Harris, said that no one was hurt during the robbery. However, an undisclosed amount of items were stolen. This is the second robbery at a gt and store in recent months. In February 2020, the kiosk in Giffland was robbed. Two men were since arrested for the robbery. And down in Linden, 47-year-old businessman Toriano Jeffers was charged with the illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. He appeared at the Linden Magistrate's Court today where he pleaded not guilty to the charges. He was released on $100,000 bail for the firearm charge and self-bail for the ammunition charge. He's expected back in court 
on April 30th. You can multiply your cash by selling Digital Top Up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your existing side hustle. Become a Top Up vendor quick and easy through Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685-3109 for more info. It's now time for today's Rona Report. Today, the nation recorded 109 new cases. Good lord! There are now a total of 225 persons dead and 11 persons in the ICU. It just keeps getting worse, oh my. And there's 913 persons in home isolation. And the total number of known cases is now 10,007. Meaning, yes, we have now reached that grim milestone of having broken 10,000 cases throughout the nation. Sad. So, please, people, please, remember to wash your hands frequently. Avoid touching your nose and mouth and mask up before you leave the house. When you do leave home, try to avoid enclosed spaces and large crowds. And remember to give six feet of space between you and others. So you don't catch the Rona. I mean, seriously, people. Now, let's take a look at news in the region. Shortly before 1am today, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck the Caribbean. According to an initial report issued by the UWI Seismic Research Center, it was felt near Point Apitra. I hope I pronounced that right. Anyway, Point Apitra, Guadalupe, St. John's, Antigua, and Barbuda, and Rousseau in Dominica. But people in St. Kitts, St. Lucia, St. Martin, and in Martinique said they too felt the tremors. All I know is we didn't down here, but, you know, it wasn't that big. Anyway. Robbery season might be over, but the streets are still mean. If I were you, I would consider getting security for the home of business. I personally recommend Chef Security Service. I find that they are the most professional with well-trained armed or unarmed guards. Get some security, people. A teenager in the Bahamas is expected to appear before a magistrate today, charged for possession of dangerous drugs with the intent to supply. The teen was arrested hours after seven students from the SC McPherson Junior High School were taken to the hospital for treatment after they consumed a marijuana-infused Rice Krispie cereal bar. Police said the teen brought the edibles to school and sold them to his classmates. So he got in trouble because a set of kids couldn't take the edibles that they bought from him. And now for our weird news story of the day. Well, you already know how much I love those crazy pet stories. Well, here's another. Surveillance video shows a dog stopping an oncoming vehicle to get help for her owner who collapsed in the street while having a seizure. A quick-thinking pup saved her owner's life in an incredible way. When Haley Moore collapsed up the side of the road while having a seizure, her dog Clover tried to wake her up as she lay on the ground unresponsive. Refusing to leave her owner helpless like that, Clover ran into the middle of the street to stop traffic. Sure enough, the oncoming vehicle came to a halt and came to the woman's aid when the driver figured out what the hero dog was doing. Moore said all she remembers was waking up in the ambulance and being very confused. Nevertheless, she's very grateful. Well, you'd better be. In fact, that pup deserves extra treats for life. If you own one of the best diesel engines in the world, then the name Cummins is very familiar to you. But even the best engines need spare parts, am I right? Powered Automotive Truck Spares and Engine Parts at 1161 EE Eccles stocks Cummins engine parts for 6BT and 6CT engines and much more. Call the WhatsApp 6970171 or follow Powered Automotive Truck Spares and Engine Parts on Facebook. It's now time for our Uncut News Fuels Poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it relates to us. So, you give your responses in the comments, and we'll read the best ones in the following episode. Yesterday's question was, what other products should be declared VAT-free? Troy DeWaver says, well, the government should get rid of VAT and just do one tax across the board. More money into people's pockets. Here, here, I agree to. Tito Passard said, I went to pay my internet bill at gt and and that company had me pay the full bill. gt and has not adjusted the bill. Well, they'd better start adjusting it fast because I have to go and pay my bill soon too, and I'm going to be pretty pissed if I don't see that VOT discounted. Lynn Bishop says, I think the people should be saved from paying taxes for priority items. 
food, clothing, and educational items such as courses, books, anything pertaining to education, and health products such as your medicines. I too agree, Lynn. Good point. And finally, Ion Nascimento said, watching from Patterson, New Jersey, but should be lowered and done across the board so as to not keep complicating things. So for tonight's question, the fishermen are asking for protection from pirates. What should the government do to ease their fears of crime on the high seas? Think about that question and tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. Check us out Monday for another. Until then, I'm Noriko Bullford saying, have a great weekend. And as always, don't drink and drive, or you'll end up on Monday's episode the hard way. Ha ha! Good night, folks. Hey, Uncut News viewers, thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on this button over here, or click over there for more news. You can also drop a comment to let me know if you've made it to the end of the video. Goodbye for now!